Hello Foundry family, my name is Cindy Nyhoff and I serve as chaplain at Royal Park Place right down the road from the new Foundry Live facility. I have to wear a mask at work so today I'm wearing one with a coffee cup design because I'm really missing the wonderful coffee that the Foundry serves. I hope that you're all staying safe and healthy as we look at today's devotion. We remember another time in the life of God's people when they were enslaved in a very different way, with far less freedom and far more fear for their lives than we have, even in the midst of this pandemic. My son Adam is going to read today from Exodus 2, 1 through 10. Now a man of the house of Levi married a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. But when she could hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch. Then she placed uh, the child in it and put it among the reeds along the bank of the Nile. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and her attendants were walking along the river bank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent a slave girl to get it. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying, and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered, and the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this baby and nurse him for me. I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. She named him Moses, saying, I drew him out of the water. I smiled when I read that Jochebed, after giving birth to her son, noted that he was a fine child. Most moms would feel the same about their newborns, but Jochebed was forced to make a difficult choice, one with no guarantee that her beautiful baby would survive. We don't even know if Jochebed had named the baby. Perhaps she didn't want to become too attached in case she never saw him again. Her heart must have been in her throat as she awaited word from her daughter Miriam regarding the fate of the baby she'd set afloat in a basket in the river. God's eyes never lost track of this infant, reuniting him with his own mother in a unique foster care plan. Through Moses' adoption into Pharaoh's daughter's family, God began a plan to rescue his people from Egypt. Many fine children are placed in foster care due to complicated circumstances in their birth families. Some age out of foster care before they ever return to their family of origin or join another family. They may wonder if their wait to belong to a family will ever be over, but God's eyes are always on them and he offers adoption into his family. Many centuries after Moses led God's people out of slavery, another set of foster parents were blessed with a son whose father was God. The son put in place the ultimate plan to rescue his people from slavery and welcome them into God's family forever. In John chapter 8, Jesus' own words verify this when he said, Very truly, I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. No matter how messy our earthly family and personal dynamics are, we can be assured of the freedom and joy that is found in God's family. Rest in the promise of freedom as a member of God's family. And from our family to yours, we pray that you'll stay safe and healthy, and we hope to see our Foundry family again soon. Thank you.